Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm going to be showing you how I make chicken fried rice. The first thing you need to do in this recipe is get your rice cooked. So I did about one and a half cups of dried rice and then I added some ground ginger and I just started my rice cooker and it did the rest of the work for me. So leftover rice is the best rice for making fried rice because it gets that dried out crispiness that you're looking for. So I didn't do any other cooking until my rice was completely done and I opened the lid so that the steam could come out and it started to get cold. The next step in this recipe is to chop up your onions and start cooking them. I use sesame oil when I'm doing any Asian dishes. Once your onions are about halfway cooked, this is when you need to add your protein. In this case, we did chicken. This is the point where I would start seasoning your dish. So I'm adding about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of garlic. I had already added pepper to the onions. Now I'm gonna add more dried ginger. If you prefer to have a saltier fried rice, this would be when you would add your um, like table salt. I personally do not like a lot of salt in any of my dishes. And since soy sauce and teriyaki sauce are very salty to begin with, I do not salt this dish. It's now time to add our rice. Rice, when it starts getting cold, stays in one big shape, as you can see. So I just take my spoon and I chop it up so that when I add my other seasonings in my sauce, it can coat all the individual grains of rice. I added a few tablespoons of each item, the teriyaki sauce and the soy sauce. It's all going to depend on how much fried rice you're going to be making for how much of those sauces that you're going to need. Just a few splashes of rice wine vinegar because a little goes a long way. In a bowl, I scrambled up two eggs for this recipe. I have to push the veggie, rice, and chicken mixture out of the way so that these eggs can cook. As soon as they become solid, you're going to take your spoon and chop them up and incorporate into your mixture. At this point, your dish is all set, so it's time to plate. I always top mine with some sesame seeds, and for dinner, when we ate this, we had it with like an Asian cabbage slaw type salad to go with it. Mm -hmm. 